Hey, superstar. I've got a golden opportunity for you. I'm helping some buddies on an indie video game thing, and they need someone with your polished skills to bring a fight to life. Just wear the suit and stay in the ring. This could be a game changer for your acting ambitions. What do you say to a little motion capture work? the best agent in the world? If the answer is anyone but you, it's gonna be really awkward. It is me! I've got two words for you. Trish. Stratus. And now I got six more. Is going to be on captive. Wait, sorry, miscounted. One more. Audience! How amazing is that? That is totally amazing. I can't believe a WWE legend is gonna do my show. Is she a WWE legend too? That must be why she was so eager to come on! I just know you can barely turn on a TV in Canada without seeing her on it. She's basically a screensaver at this point. Well, however it happened, you did good. Thanks, Alfie. No problem. She's all set for next week, and all you have to do is fill in for Trish in a match against someone named Charlotte Flair and win. <laughs> Oh, is that all? Look, Trish has got the flu, but still wants to ensure Charlotte loses. You've got a show, but need a guest. And I'm an agent who knows how to put both of those things together. So what do you say? Should I drop the contracts? Like I could say no to Trish Stratus on Captive Audience. You go iron out the details. I'll go flatten Charlotte Flair. Love it! Break a leg! Not literally. Try to stay in one piece, especially your face. But go get him. Cat! 
the woman who dazzles in the ring or on the screen. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England. I was talking to Cap's agent before the show, and did you know she's up for a huge part in a superhero movie? Amazing. What's amazing is that the WWE Universe is continuing to support this part-timer who only shows up to wrestle when her schedule permits. Cap is ready for her close-up. There are only three things certain in life. Death, taxes, and Charlotte Flair. She is inevitable. An entrance fit for a queen. And from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. She is a game changer, a trailblazer, and perhaps the greatest woman to ever set foot in a WWE ring. And with all of Charlotte's accomplishments, some say she's already a living legend. She's had rivalries with Lynch and rousing and revolutionized the industry. When your last name is Flair, competing is like breathing, and the queen has built an empire. No false bravado, always personal, always physical. Yeah, and always maintaining supreme confidence and savage ferocity. Whether you like it or not, no one can measure up to Charlotte Flair. She was bred for this business and has become the absolute pinnacle. She really is the biggest challenge there is in this women's division. Up until an hour ago, everybody in the arena was expected to see Trish Stratus, including Charlotte Flair. Charlotte's got to be annoyed she had so little time to prepare for Cap. She gets to face an indie vet instead of a Hall of Famer? Sounds like Charlotte's already won. Crushing double stomp. Snap suplex, very effective. Watch her set up in the corner, and she finds an answer to Charlotte. This is what you call high risk, high reward. Oh, and it's trapped now in just a sharp elbow. She was clearly waiting for that. Right hand after right hand. This is ugly. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Uh oh, jawbreaker! Call the dentist. What do they have planned here? Yuranagi! And shoulders are down. She overcomes the pinfall attempt. Keeping a loss at bay for now. It's not even a challenge. All the way up. Across the top rope. Stun gun. Charlotte experiencing a bit of a challenge to the natural in-ring ability she prides herself in. I don't know who's feeling this more, her or the crowd. Huge boot, 
Flair is falling behind now. The Queen's perseverance being tested here. Tossed into the corner. Ooh, sharp elbow. Dodges. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, man, by the hair. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Oh, just turn that around. Oh, been in heel kick. That'll rock anybody. Legs caught. Counter upon counter, great minds thinking alike. Face buster! Uh-oh, we know what's next. Oh, man, into the neck breaker. Oh. And that could do Charlotte. Kick out, thought that was the end of her. Charlotte Flair proving why she's been the measuring stick in the women's division for so long. A lesser competitor would have stayed down for three. And now it's reload time. Time to find another moment to pull up to the sky. Taking it on the mouth. Just a continuous rush on Charlotte here. Charlotte's got to find a way to put her best foot forward here. Senton connects. Looking to turn the tide here. From the second rope. Turn to dust. She's going for it. This could be. She wrote. Here is your winner. Yeah. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt kicking. That'll knock Charlotte down a peg or two. I think so, too. Yeah. Hey. So, um, yeah. Everything good? Yeah. What's going on? Where's Trish? Who? Oh, Trish Stratus. Yeah. I'm sure it's fine, but she is not here. What do you mean she's not here? We've got a show to do. Where is she? I'm working on that now. Left a few messages. She's kind of ghosting me. Although, Natalia was here, and she had my phone for a bit, so maybe she saw a text. I could reach out to her. I don't really want to. She's trying to convince me to get some of her rescue cats on the show, and I was trying to explain that it really isn't that kind of show, but she could be really intense, and I, I just... It's just... Uh. Alfie, focus. Figure out what's going on and get back to me. I can reach out too if you need. In the meantime, apparently I've got a few extra hours to get ready for Piper Niven tonight. So I'm gonna take advantage. So it's a blessing. <laughs> this is a good thing. No, but I'm gonna take lemons and make lemonade. And you're gonna figure out why I'm sucking on so many lemons right now. On it. I'll let you know if I get any messages. the woman who dazzles in the ring or on the screen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England. Yeah! Why are you putting on sunglasses, Saxton? Because the brightest superstar in WWE is on her way to the ring. Come on, Corey. Aren't you at least a little starstruck?
Cap is ready for her close-up. The Scottish powerhouse of the women's division. And from Ayrshire, Scotland, Piper Niven. Niven has made it very clear as of late. Whatever she wants, she will take. You're not kidding, Saxton. She basically declared herself a tag team champion. And the funny part was nobody objected. Niven looks ready to knock out anybody in the women's division. One of the most powerful superstars in the women's division, Piper Niven. Piper Niven is no nonsense with no time for fun and games. You get in her way, she'll run right through you without a second thought. Yeah, stepping into the ring against Niven is certainly no laughing matter. She's ready to make that statement loud and clear here tonight. But she'll be challenged by a woman who's shown a high acumen in the ring. There's nothing you can throw at her that she hasn't already devised an answer for. Saw that one coming. Oh, right to the spine with the knee. That was vicious. gut for that effort. Oh, what a forearm. That's Trish Stratus' music. Looks like we've got a legend in the building. Or whoever's in control of the entrance music has an itchy finger. Oh, quite an effective counter. To the mat. She just rocked Piper there, managing to shake the powerhouse. Climbing the turnbuckle now. From the top. Look out for her. No matter who you are, when you crash on the floor, a searing pain races through your body. Delivered into the barricade. Ah, oh, look at this. Hair pulled net slam. She fights Piper back. And gets tossed back into the mat. Dropping the elbow. Waiting for their fallen opponent in a oh, step up set on. She looks hell bent on finishing things right now. Uh, pump handle here. Oh, better end. Niven in big time jeopardy. There's two. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner. I have to imagine things might have been different had this been a fully fair fight, but tonight we only have this. I don't see how you can say the distraction factor didn't play a factor in this one, guys. They tried to tune out the added presence, but it ultimately proved to be too much for them. What the heck was that about? Any ideas what's going on with Trish? No, but we need to back burner the whole Trish sitch for a minute. <laughs> back burner? The whole somehow I've wronged WWE superstar and Canada's sweetheart Trish Stratus and don't know why thing? She ghosted my show, then convinced someone to distract me with her music, Alfie. Uh huh, because we've got another problem. Don't worry, I'm already on it, but. The set for captive audience, it's gone. What do you mean, it's gone? Just that it was here, and now it's not here. The whole set? 
So we didn't have a show today because we didn't have Trish Stratus. And now we don't have a show ever because we don't have a set. Basically, the audience might have been captive, but the set sure wasn't. Sorry, uh, too soon. I knew it was as soon as I said it, but yeah. WWE is not super keen to pony up a bunch more dough for a set that we can't keep track of. Their words, but angrier when they said it. Ugh. Great, we'll figure it out. I'll see who knows what. There's gotta be someone who saw something. the woman who dazzles in the ring or on the screen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England. I was talking to Cap's agent before the show, and did you know she's up for a huge part in a superhero movie? Amazing. What's amazing is that the WWE Universe is continuing to support this part-timer who only shows up to wrestle when her schedule permits. I can feel the ratings spiking. From Dungeon to Diva to an all-time great. And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia! One of the most experienced superstars in WWE. She has accomplished nearly everything you can here. And there are no signs that Natalia is slowing down by any means. Natalia has a great mixture of mat wrestling skill as well as pure power. The Queen of Hearts is about to hold court. We are seeing a mystery play out live on television here as Cap wants to make Natalia reveal who stole the set of her talk show. It's a real Agatha Christie, Michael. Who could have done such a terrible thing? A rumor mill saying that Trish Stratus is a prime suspect. Would not surprise me a bit. Who wouldn't be jealous of Cap? She's not a superstar, she's a supernova. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. Oh! Gut kick! Nothing fancy there. Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. Could be considered an unexpectedly rookie mistake from the veteran Natalia. So precise. Momentum is clearly against Natalia now. I don't know if Natalia can withstand this. Fighting back with a counter. Could that be the from the top? And able to beat Natalia to the soaring. Unreal. Cover. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. Clearly, she's still got a lot of fight left in her. 
Butterflies the arms, and over into a suplex. That was a massive suplex. There's core strength, and then there's what we just saw. What a face buster. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. Oh, pump handle here. Oh, Baron! Natalya wasn't ready. Now it could be over. And this one is over. Here is your winner. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. You can see the frustration painted all over Natalya's face. I've been on the phone all day. I've narrowed things down to about five or 36 suspects. It was Trish Stratus. 37 suspects. You sure it was her? I don't know why, but her behavior has made it clear that she has something against me. When I catch up to her, I'll ask, in between punches. She's out in LA opening a yoga studio and doing a charity match. Sneaky thief! She's got the public totally fooled. Then I've got a plane to catch. Wherever she's doing that match, get me on that card. Bumper scheduled opponent. Pull any strings you have to. Consider it done! You don't know who might be in charge of that sort of thing and where I could find a number, do you? It's fine. I'll figure it out.
I confronted Trish after the match. She's pretty adamant she didn't steal the set. And you believe her? She was very convincing. Of course, she's also a heck of an actress, so who knows? But she claims that we canceled the appearance on Captive Audience about 30 minutes before she was supposed to come on. That's why she had her music interrupt your match, to remind you not to forget about her. Why would she think we canceled? Probably because she got an email from me saying we were canceling her appearance on the show. It's in my sent mail. I didn't send it, though. I think I might have been hacked. It's kind of a rite of passage in Hollywood. So, this is actually pretty exciting for me. <laughs> you got hacked and all they did was send one email to Trish Stratus. Doesn't seem likely. Did anyone else have access to your phone? Only Natalia when she was putting in her number so I could call her about the cat act. It's kind of funny though, she kept making mistakes so it took forever. She's kind of hopeless. Or she was using that time to cancel Trish Stratus and then pointing a finger to keep me from looking at the surveillance tapes. Probably upset about not getting booked on the show. Still, stealing the set? I'm not sure she could have pulled that off by herself. She does have those cats. Doubt they're very good at moving furniture. If they were, they'd definitely get onto the show. That would be some good entertainment. But I'll look into who might have helped Natalia. Thank you, Alfie. Might be good for you to reach out to Trish. I'm not sure what the protocol is in WWE, but in Hollywood, if you fly cross country to fight someone, then realize the beef wasn't their fault, you usually at least send a text. I think that's pretty much universal. Good idea. On the set, please. Places, everyone, and Here comes the queen, Charlotte Flair. A woman who has truly done it all in WWE.
The following is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. Uh, Corey, I'm sure you would agree that no one makes quite an entrance like Charlotte Flair. I completely agree, Saxon, because every time she's in the ring, it is a spectacle to behold. Charlotte Flair competed in the first women's match to main event WrestleMania and takes pride in always controlling the situation around her. There is no one better in the big moment than Charlotte Flair. As physically dominant as any superstar we have ever seen. Charlotte is always happy to send a message inside the ropes. And each step furthers her legacy. When you talk about the mountaintop in this business, you are talking about Charlotte Flair. Truly in a league of her own in WWE and showing no signs of letting up. One of the most decorated superstars in WWE history. Here comes. Natalia partner from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Natalia! A true powerhouse in the ring, a third generation athlete, and wrestling royalty. Natalia possesses all of the weapons. She's held singles and tag team gold, and she has the most wins in women's division history. She's a three time world record holder, and many more to come. Natalia has earned the right to refer to herself as the measuring stick of the women's division. You're right, Corey. Natalia is an all-time great here in WWE and seems to get better as time goes on. Look at this. Trish and Cap are on the case. And... This is ridiculous. This is a serious premium live event, not some infomercial to market outside products. That's right, Corey. Tonight, Backlash is brought to you by Down Up, Down Up, created and presented by The Miz. Let's go! Go! Will Trish and Kat find all the clues to lead them to victory or will their opponents get away scot-free? Trish and Cap hoping to do double duty out here, taking care of Charlotte and Natalia and promoting their new detective show. It's ridiculous. They look like two girls playing dress up in daddy's closet. This is one match where I do not back the blue. Well, someone's ending up black and blue one way or another. And set right into the corner. Out oh, oh. right to the body. When you see a unit as aligned as they are, it's really incredible. Punched to the stomach and stopped in their tracks. Knife edge chop. Skin red. Big time spine buster. Could lead to a big time win. Charlotte's still in this. She's still in this one. And she makes it to her partner. Tag. Way up high. Go his plan there. What a close line. Good grief. Bulldog. 
You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. Hooked up. DDT. Oh, she hit the corner hard. Dragon screw takedown, not finished yet. Right into a leg lock. Payne must be shooting through that leg now. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Able to tag her partner. Oh, setting them up, gonna hoist them up high. Fall away slam into a kip up. Fall away slam with oof. Was ready for that. And she had Charlotte's number there. Charlotte Waylaser. Got it scouted. These two trading counters, an absolute master class. And Trish gets cut down there. Charlotte looked as brutal as ever on that exchange. And what a pump kick. is so important in a match like this. Set up in the corner of the ring. Double axe handle. He wasn't tough enough contending with one opponent. Now you got to deal with two. Bang it back with their own counter. Uh-oh. Inverted DDT. What a reversal. Big, big back body drop. What elevation. She turns it right around with a counter. Schoolboy pinning combination. Oh, maybe not. No muss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. Big boat! Elbow puts an end to that. Double underhook. Head over into a suplex. She wants to finish this. Charlotte is being measured. The end could be near. Flair caught unprotected. Oh, man, into the neck breaker. Oh. Is that what it takes to beat Charlotte? Ooh. Ooh. Big counter impressive ring IQ on display there. Oh, nicely done. Seated suplex. To the neck. Queen changes the direction of that one. She's trying to fight back, but it doesn't look good. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Charlotte needs to utilize some of that famous flair stamina to get back in this. I agree with you. She sent flying into the corner. Oh, man. Shot right to the midsection. Chop block. Brilliant. Right to the back of the knee. Watch out! Driving the opponent down with a bulldog. Oh! She kicked by Stratus. Will Trish take advantage? Try to end it. One, only two. You cannot count out Charlotte Flair, no matter how hard you try. You have to go beyond your best to each Charlotte comes that close to defeat. You have to think the temperature of this match has just been turned up a notch. Trish is in utter disbelief. What else does she have to do to win this match? Here's a tag. 
Here comes the attack. What are they going to do? Oh, man, what a back body drop. Incredible height. Trish Stratus is unstoppable. Yeah, Trish is remaining the aggressor here. Charlotte might be waking up. She was getting grinded down, but that could have just started a quick turnaround. Elbow thrown to break up the maneuver. Sent into the corner. Uh-oh. And Flair gets that turn back on her. Right hand after right hand. This is ugly. Kick to the body. Double underhook into a DDT. Shoved into the ropes and attacking the lower back. Oh. And again. Great way to wear down your opponent. Double underhook carefully applied, muscling up their opponent. Butterfly backbreaker. Drop kick hits hard, lands harder. Oh, pump handle here. And they call that the better end. Picture perfect execution. Oh, kick out, kick out at two. This just has to be Charlotte's DNA. It's the genetics that caused her to kick out after that maneuver. Confidence must be waning as she hits the opposition hard, but still can't get the fall. An overbearing assault on Charlotte now. Charlotte trying to withstand this surge. She's firing up, no doubt about it. This is likely going to have adverse effects on her. She's only aggravating her competition at this point. She's getting herself in the zone, but she shouldn't hesitate much longer. Oh, what a knee strike. Oh, jaw shattering. These string of attacks are keeping her off her game. She has to build the strength to turn the tide. She's on unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover. So ruthless. Shot to the body, now has the arm trapped. Pump handle position. And they call that the better end. Forget it, she's counting sheep. Oh, what a kick out, how did she do that? I was sure this one was over. Oh, nice. Schoolboy from behind. Cover! And she got it! Surprise pin! Here are your winners. Trish Stratus and Anna. An emphatic victory for your winners. An impressive effort from this duo. Perfect chemistry between these women. I see many more wins in the future for this pairing.